Welcome to my channel. We're doing your reading. Before I forget, the codes for today's reading, it will be posted on our Facebook. I recently joined Facebook. <laughs> Bored much? No, no, because I realize I don't really go. I mean, like, when did I start Instagram, to be honest? I don't know, maybe just a year. So now I'm learning Facebook. So we will put the codes for the free extended reading that you can use to check out. So follow in Facebook, that's where we're going to post it. Okay, so it's not here. After this, you guys got to go there. And we're going to flash it there. Okay, so <laughs> flash it there. No, it's not Mardi Gras, Sal. Okay, so that's that. Um, so I don't know where the link is on Facebook. It's going to be in the description down there. Description. Okay, now let's see what's going on. Um, we made some changes. We're going to look at the mind, okay, the heart and soul of the person. Or I mean you first and then the person that you're dealing with. And then at the same time, okay, I would rather get you your ascendant first. We're going to look at different parts of our chart, parts of our chart. Ascendant is the most, okay, important for, for me, for what I do, okay? And of course, sidereal. The chart is there. You can download it for free. And then there's nothing. There's nothing that you have to be scared, just knowing that you really are another zodiac, okay? And it's called sidereal. This is your true placement, the real placement that you have, okay? So let's see what's going on. The webinar is in April 4. It's instant webinar, so it's exclusive. You got to sign up already. Okay, you will catch me live. This is short notice because people want me to dive deeper and talk about astrology, talk about the planets and wealth, health, finances, all these things. I will do it, okay? It's this Saturday. So let's see what's going on in your mind first. Okay. Let's see for the Taurus. Okay, well, you have been hanging around. I've been spinning around. How to my Aussie fans. Hi to Kylie. Okay. Move out of my way. <laughs> That's, well, it's not spinning around. You just don't know what to do anymore inside your head, right? It's like, I don't know what else, Al. I've tried my best. I've done everything. What else? Is there anything else that I have to compromise? Because I feel like I've compromised a lot already. And I don't even know anymore what's going to happen. Mm -hmm. That's the hangman. So you've been chilling right there, chilling like a villain. No, because there's not, there's nothing for you to do. This is what you're saying. I have done as much. That's the hangman. Let's see. Well, as an emperor, you choose to stay where you want. Mm -hmm. So you won't budge, you won't move, because you feel like I've done everything. And if you did, then you did. That's the emperor. Okay. So I gave it. I gave it a try. I was very, what do you think? I was very basic. 
Balance, okay. Meaning you tried your best. Oh, this is what's bothering me. There. Okay. Yeah. So you did your best. You totally, um, you know, as an emperor, there's nothing that you didn't try. Okay. So you got everything covered with this connection. You, you know, as an emperor, you took a lot of hit also because you're strong. Mm -hmm. It's going to be airy spices right there. Let's see what's going on inside your heart. Let's see. Inside your heart. Eight of Wands, Chariot. You want to talk to them. So, <laughs> your heart is not connected to your mind. <laughs> okay. You want to go to them. You want to chase them. You're yearning for them. You're basically Cupid's arrow. You've fallen in love with this person already. Like, this is, you know, the, the universe is telling you to, for, this is a call to action here, right? So, your heart says like, no, let's text, let's message, let's call, let's visit. No, social distancing, okay? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm. Okay. So, you're torn. You don't know what to do because the emperor says, I'm staying. My mind says like, I'm not going anywhere, but this is not another emperor. No, I'm going. My heart says I'm going. Mm. Torn between two lovers, right? feeling like a fool, right? Mm -hmm. So let's see. Your soul. See what your soul is saying. Ten of swords, you've given up. Six of pentacles. So your soul is saying, I don't know what you're talking about, Mr. Heart, but I'm dead here. I've given enough energy and what else? Mm-hmm. What else? So you want to be resourceful? Your soul is saying, like, find your own resources because there's nothing for us to give here in this connection anymore. Mm -hmm. There's nothing. Nothing at all. This, this, your soul is giving up. Your soul is dying in the inside. If there's anything the soul is giving, it's like a tit for tat. It's just like, listen, I only got chump change to give here. We have no more energy. You have maxed out, okay, how much compassion, how much, you know, like, whatever you're trying to give, you've maxed it out. Let's see their side. Mm -hmm. mm. Let's see what's going on inside there. Mm. In their mind, they have the world card, Taurus. Let's see. And the top ones. Okay, as far as what they think in this situation, they're not talking to anyone. They're not dating anybody. You're their whole world. Okay. You got the whole world. They want to reach out to you. Yes. They want to end this also. Because the, the mind is all about, you know what? Let me, let's end this, whatever you know, a stagnancy, because you're on the other side. Whatever stagnancy that you guys have in this connection, let's end this. Let's move it. Let's go. So their mind is saying go. Your mind is saying no. Mm -hmm. So I feel like this person wants to meet you in the middle. Let's see what your heart is saying here. Your heart. Prince of Swords and the Queen of Pen. Oh, their heart, sorry. Their heart is saying here, I want to talk to you about how to make this stable. What do I need to do? What do I need to take care of? What do I need to change? This is what their heart is saying. What do I need to change? Okay, because they want stable. Now this one is a fast communication that they just want to talk to you. Mm -hmm. So their heart is saying, it's like, yeah, let's talk. So both people, heart-wise, they want to talk. Mind-wise, they want to go. Your mind says no. Let's see what's going on this So Let's see here. Their soul, they got the King of Swords and the Lovers. Their soul is saying they're drawn to you. See, they know that there's a, you know, there's something special. They know, the soul is aware that you guys have this contract mm -hmm, from past life. That's, you know, you guys have reincarnated in this present life. And, you know, this, their soul is learning from this. Mm. But your soul is basically dying. 
being purged by this. So if there's anything burning, it's not a sensation. It's your life. Okay. It's not a burning sensation, Sal. Okay. So the soul you're suffering, they're kind of like drawn to this. They want you. They desire you. Mm-hmm. Now let's see. It's uh, the blockage in here. Let's see. You have the Six of Swords, the Hierophant, which is you, and Eight of Cups. You guys not talking is the blockage. And they're gonna walk away. It's up to you. You're in the middle, which we've seen. I told you earlier. You're caught in between. Six of Swords, because you, you guys are not talking about anything right now. Not the relationship, the partnership, how you guys broke apart, why there's no movement. There's no contact. Mm. Eight of Cups, they're pulling away. Okay? So, follow me all the way to the end in extended preview. The way that the extended works for the newbies, because people does not know. I will finish this spread. Okay? I'm going to be looking for the foreseeable future, how it's looking. And then, I will take everything back. Draw multiple scenarios. And then draw it again multiple scenarios so that we cover all the grounds so meaning you can see okay if i do this okay if i do that okay if, so it's not just one side we're going to be looking at different points so then basically you can make your best decision you got me follow me in the link below for the extended and, and there's an extended too if you do not um, resonate with this one um and then what else um, we'll see you in the webinar and also just get your ascendant sign and then that's it. I'll see you guys again. Bye. Welcome to my channel. We're doing your dailies. This is your three to the four. I have your chart over here. Not much going on. You know, it's like it's a day by day. Okay. So, but here it is with our diamond spread where we promote love, marriage, relationship, and partnership. Ah, <sighs> that good energy. Okay, here we go. Sun, moon, rise, because Venus is diamond rule. I mean, like gemstone rise. So I made a special spread. Okay. Here we go. Four months. Taurus. Okay. Here we go. Got a king of pentacles. Six of swords. Princess of swords. Princess of pentacles. The two of cups again. In the same place as the Aries. It's just like a stalker card. It's some sort of a stalker card. <laughs> because we promote love, marriage, and relationship. Okay. <laughs> That's where I stand. Okay. For humans to be happily in love, you know? If I can give everybody a blessing, that would be the blessing that I can... You know, it's like... If I was just a fairy of love, I'd give everybody that. King of Pentacles. Hmm... No, sadly, I'm not a fairy of love. I'm just a fairy. <laughs> love comes later. King of Pentacles. There has been some changes. Layers and layers of changes. Between you and this person. You saw an opportunity or they seen an opportunity. I feel like it's you. You saw an opportunity, like, this is something. This is something. Because the king here is showing that they, they, now it's you. If it's you. You want to take the hit. I'm not sure what's the taking the hit, you know, it's not a joint. You know, if, like, if there's something coming, you know, it's just like, I'll take it. You know, so if there's a struggle, I'll take it. Yeah. If there's something, I'll take it. Whatever it is, you know. With the Six of Swords, they're emotional. Okay. Very emotional is my moon card. This is when someone regrets being with someone because they're so emotional. Okay. Sorry. So. They're so emotional. There are times where it's like, do you really need me? Because it's just like, you're just a ball of emotional ball. You know, it's just like, you are just, you know, it's just like, you're a ball of feelings and emotion. Do you need me? You know, because remember, you told this person, like, if you need me, I'm there. I'll take it. Because the Prince of Swords here, it's just like, they don't even shame themselves of how the emotional they are. 
and they talk to you about their feelings and emotions like you, I need you, I need you, I need you, I need you. So very needy, uh, very, very needy. Prince of Pentacles, Princess of Pentacles here. Even though you're busy, I feel like this is you because you're nurturing something. You could be a student, you're learning something. You have a lot in your schedule, you know. At least the person is giving birth about something that they're they're creating. Um, they don't even see your suffering. They don't even, they only see you as the king. It's like, well, you know, Taurus is that energy that I can depend on. He, you know, he or she is very stable and strong emotionally because this is about emotion. This is not about coins. Um, and, you know, it's just like, so if I need someone, then I should be able to reach you. I should be able to text you. I should be able to connect with you. Prince of Pentacles. They don't see what you're giving birth, what your labor, what your hardship is. But there's something with this person that is soothing, though. With the Two of Cups, oh, you guys can see that. With the Two of Cups energy, you know how by the end of the day, all this thing is worth it? This is what you're going to tell, this is what you're just facing with this, with this energy. By the end of the day, you know, it's just like, you know, you look at them, and then they look at you, and that energy, that no matter how much they were needy and emotionally unstable, and how they were insensitive to you, and how you are so also tight on stuff, you know, but, I, but, but you know, by the end of the day, it's, uh, it's the feelings and love and how we connect matters most. So everything in the world is crap. You know, basically, but because you get you, you're dealing with your own crap. They don't see that. They only see the part where you can be the rock for them, and for you, it's just like they don't even need to know what I'm going through. So they don't need to see that, because I want it when we are together. It's all about love, you know, because we deal with shit every time, and if we're gonna bring it when we're together, then it's all shit, you know. And here, you know, sorry to say that. And here, I just want love. The rest I can handle, you know. And then, you know, it's, 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 as long as there is this connection between the two of us. Okay, two of cups. Alrighty. So, I'm going to continue this reading. Um, more of the situation and how you guys work this uh, cycle in the relationship. Um, link down there in the description box. Have a wonderful 3 and 4 Taurus. We'll see at the inner or also core of the situation and the possible outcome. Have a wonderful day. Bye. Since the Queen of Cups is here, matters of the heart has to be discussed and talked about. What are we gonna Queen do? Of okay. Seven of Cups with a judgment. What are we gonna do? Nine of Wands, you're very close off. Okay, so that's Empress, that. it's you. The ball is in your court here. If you want things to move forward and get better, okay? They're not asking for